My new title is Principal Conductor, but it's more encompassing than that, you know, with an awful lot of artistic stuff, you know, casting and whatever all else. It's, it's all kind of all mixed up and a kind of a wonderful mix. I just consider myself a knockoff, so <laughs> it's fine. I don't have music on my iPad. Isn't that interesting? There's music going on in the background. I'm hearing something that I just did or something I'm about to do, and it just is, my hard disk keeps going round and round. So I do not carry music to listen to. When people say Phantom of the Opera is their favorite opera, it's, a, it's not an eye roll moment, and I tell you why. In today's day, today's world, they get out of their house and park the car and buy the ticket. Wherever they're going, I'm happy. The weirdest question, can I leave early? <laughs> um, do you mind if I don't sing today? Are you really gonna do it like that? Me. Uh, my favorite villain in an opera, oh, probably it would be Iago in Verdi's Otello, just because, because. Well, I'm dating myself, but you know what I really would like? Neither of those two. I'd like a 63 Blue Falcon, which is what I learned to drive on, three on the column. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, my family was always a Ford family. But usually when I go rent someplace, I'm renting a Chevy, so I don't know. I go for long walks, but sometimes you just don't want to walk home. <laughs> and so, you know, you know the halfway point, the point of no return and you've gone too far? So I can't wait to ride this new rail and just watch everything as it comes back to life. I love the theater. I like the feeling of everybody together. I love the feeling of the singers and me and the orchestra and the chorus and everybody to one common goal. I, it's kind of like crawling inside the speaker of your stereo in college. Listening to the music, it's all kind of around you and it's, it's a wonderful, all-encompassing feeling and I'm a collaborator in life so I, I love it. <laughs>